Oh, it's a bit cold out here today. I've got my little, uh, what's it called? A uh, scope that goes inside things. I thought we'd have a look inside this TZR tank, as well as have a look at some other stuff that he's been buying, that he's gonna be putting in the blinking polytunnel. You know who, crap it man. So yet again, he's toying about in the polytunnel, making a bit more floor room, and he's gonna need a bit of floor room for what he's brought anyway. I'll show you that in a second. But first of all, let's go outside. I've got that endoscope or whatever it's called. We'll put that in the fuel tank, because it, it feels, we've only put our fingers in there and felt it feels very rough, even though the person said that it's been pet sealed, which I, I do believe, because I feel there's resin in there, but it's not been done properly. So we get the endoscope in there, in the fuel tank on the TZR, and see what we can find. Right, well I've got this uh, little depth stick one, which I've actually done a review on. It comes, I've had to connect it to a battery charger, a battery pack, because the battery's flat on it. And it's wireless, so you've got no wire you need to connect to your actual phone, as you can see there. Look, it's, uh, it's filming at the moment, but uh, let me just get it set up and I'll show you, hold on. Right, now don't forget the bloke said that this had actually been pet sealed, so let's have a closer look at it. And I'll get you nearer, hold on. Right, so I'll put my phone there. That's the inside of the tank after it's been pet sealed. I don't think so, do you? So look at that, look, that's the actual tank. You can see the resin there, look. Pulled away. So that's definitely not been done properly. Yeah, look at that, look, that's the resin lifted there, look, underneath that uh, rusty tank there. Coming down there, all the yellow stuff is the resin. There we go, look, there's a fuel pickup pipe by the looks of it. That tank is definitely not been done properly, look. Definitely no good that. So that's, I don't know how long ago that was done, maybe 20 years ago when he first had the bike. So it's, it definitely needs sorting out. Whether I can flush all this out, I don't really know. We'll have to play this by here. Coming out, there you go, that's the tank there. And that's the outside of the tank. So there you go, that's uh, definitely gonna need looking into. Whether or not we can save that tank, I don't know. Someone did suggest put some caustic soda in there, which you probably will, will end up doing, and uh, hot water. Yeah, happy days. Right, let's see what else he's doing. Guess what it is yet? He's bought a little motorcycle ramp, so uh, lucky enough, we've got a few bike projects as you well know. So, uh, this is going to come in very easy, very handy, very handy, even <laughs> right. We're going to just put you on a bit of time lapse, we're going to set it up. So, we'll see you in a minute. Sorry about that. I thought I said that we put it on a bit of time lapse, there's nothing to put really to put together. So, I'll leave it as it is. All we've got to do is just drop this on the oh, this goes on. No, the ramp's this side. That's the pins, look. All right then. Yeah? So if we spin that round. Like that. Notice who's doing all the work again. You see me brought it all in from the van. <laughs> that goes that way round. This ramp comes over here and slides in. So yeah, you've got these two pins here, and they enable you to make the thing come out wider. So you can make that a bit wider, which is a bit better in it for if you've got a lot of weight sitting up high. Put the old pin back in there. There we go. Yeah, put down. What? You've got two lugs there, and these two pins obviously slide into it. So let's get that in there. Yeah, so what it looks like is that the powder coating is just kept inside these uh, holes here. Right, let's try 
on it. Oh, oh, I bloody slid it easy that time, look. Does <laughs> that pin go in? No. Take, take it out then. Put it go in though. Slide it out. Put that pin back in. It's not in proper, is it? Try again. It's not having it with that pin there. Eh? It's not having it. Sit in it. Yeah, well, that's a bit strange. Let, let's show you this, look. So underneath, you can see down the end there where that other pin is. There. That is hitting that lug. So with that pin in, you can't slide it. So just take it to the side again. Let's see, hold on, but it. Oh, I don't think it will. No, it's right on that pin, isn't it? Is it on it again? Yeah, virtually. So then coming around here. I know how you can do it, though. What? Track the table up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, jack the table up a bit, then the pin will drop in, of course it will. Go on and put your foot on the pedal, see if that pumps it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, so taking that up in the air, look, you can now drop the pin in. <laughs> Common sense, isn't it? Unbelievable. Forgot it's a lift table. Right, so yeah, but even so, you, you'd naturally assume, I suppose what would that help if you actually read the manual? Well, that's not really... A the manual it just shows you how to bolt it all together which it's been done for right we'll drop it down then see if that now goes onto the ground oh it goes down nice isn't it yeah but the thing to notice is that uh sitting on that i suppose isn't no it? you need the pin in that position don't put it in the other side because it lit that bracket on the way down so keep the pin in that sort of orientation one thing to note though, you haven't got any brakes. any brakes on it, so it can move about a bit. So you want to sort of pro probably sort some brakes out for this. That's it, it's top level. Let's just straighten it up. Yeah, that's the only thing, there's no brakes on it. Yeah, so you've got a tubular bar there which goes through there. And that's like a safety brake, so it can't drop down on you. Then you've got these two things that go on here and you've got one this side for the adjustment, adjustment for the wheel that will clamp your front wheel in place as you can see and then you've got this thing which is a plate that goes on the end just to stop the front wheel from uh, rolling off so my main concern or only concern with it is that you haven't got any place to lock your wheels off so we'll have to sort of work, work for something for that because this floor isn't very even although we've put that board down as you can see and uh, it's going to do the job but this is ideal for small like scooters and stuff isn't it yeah things like that i wouldn't trust it with a big sort of 750 motorcycle for example but ideal for the small stuff we're working on which are these little scooters now for the money you paid for this this was on ebay wasn't it yeah what's this go for 270 270 he's had a GXXR thousand on it. He has it in his showroom. So you see, we'll hold it. It takes eight hundred oh, pounds. We'll hold it, yeah, because this is about how much? It weigh about one hundred and eighty kilograms, isn't it, or something? Yeah, it's it can weigh. It can take a weight of eight hundred pounds though on the table. Right. So I mean, obviously, as I say, we only want it for little scooters and stuff like that. You can spend thousands on these things, but for for this sort of scenario, two hundred odd pounds, ideal. So happy days. We'll just put it together, and we'll see you in a minute. Oh, by the way, I've got these things. Look, these come from uh, Electrostatic Magic. I think they're called a snood and uh, they got electrostatic magic branding they sent me a few uh, kindly because i've done my last video they liked my last video they sent me some of these so what i'll do that actually keep your neck warm as well which is ideal but on my live stream on my birthday i'll be giving i think they give me five or six of these i'm going to keep one i've got to shut up with sharon so i think we're going to have four to give away on my live stream on 15th of december uh, 2020 i'm not too sure on the exact time yet so keep an eye out for that one where you can probably win one of these snoods very nice look Go to a shop like that if you want and keep your neck warm straight away. Happy days.
the grass at the time, lots, but uh, it's solid enough to do any work on this, and it's nice at the, nice at the right height now. And have a guess what? Look, watch this. Unbelievable. Already, he's converted that wheelchair into his armchair. It's the director's chair, this. Unbelievable. Right, okay, well, we'll leave it there for now, but I hope you'll agree. It's a little handy thing we've got now, and uh, it's going to make a big addition to when we're actually restoring these mopeds, although he says it's his. Hey? Well, you can use it when I finish. <sighs> and you can use my tools now and again, then. How about that? Oh, yeah. Right, thanks very much. Don't forget me live stream on the 15th of December 2020, and uh, we'll be giving away four or five of these little things, the snoods or whatever they're called. Kindly given to me from Electrostatic Magic, who does our powder coating stuff. If you want to have a look at the links in the description, check out my uh, other playlists and my powder coating videos, and you'll see their gear in action. I use it all the time. Anyway, thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.